And welcome back to Let's Play Ro Tingle's Rosie Ruby Land. Let's go. So there are a few side quests I could do right now, but I think I'll do them when I come back from the new area. We might as well go explore. Also, I don't know why Chuckles didn't come with us. Alright, so now that the tower is a bit taller, we can jump off it and head to... Did we actually look at the new area yet? Cape Treasure. Let's go. Also, how many rupees do I have on me? I think I have like around 800. That should be enough for what I need. Yeah, we have about 8... 850. Also, hi Chuckles. How did you get here before us? There's no bridge yet. I would hope so. I need to find some treasure. For money. Also, we could help out the locals, but who cares? We need the money. Alright, so let's take a look around. Oh, hey kid. What you up to? Don't tell me what to do. I'll fall in if I want to. That was a mistake. Well, we got seaweed, but we also lost 15 rupees. Yeah, don't run into the wall. Hey there. So yeah, I'm not sure how Chuckles got here. There's no bridge yet. Alright, Duke. Uh, I forget how much this bridge costs. I think it's like around... 200 or 300. I'm gonna say 200 and hope that I don't lose my rupees. Okay, good. That was enough. Uh, I wish they would give you, like, some kind of hint on how much things cost in this game. You just kind of have to guess and hope that you don't lose all your rupees from it. Well, now we can get back to, what was it called again? Oh, yeah, uh, Sunshine Seashore. Alright, bye, Duke. The well... That happened. Oh, we still need to find the map for this area. Uh, where's the look at me kid? Or look what I found, kid. He should be around here somewhere. There he is. Yep, I know what it is. Just give me the map. 100 rupees is fine. Oh, I still need to sell the map from the last area, don't I? Uh, I'll probably do that next time I'm, I'm uh, in town. But yep, let's take a quick look at the map. So, let's see here. Oop, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Where is the body sh body shop? Bodyguard Saloon. It's just to the north of us. And there's also a skull on the map for some reason. Eh, I'm sure that's nothing. Alright, so let's take a quick look around before we head to the body uh, guard saloon. Hopefully we can get a better bodyguard than Chuckles here. I kind of want a small bodyguard for what we can unlock in the next area. Oh, wait. I see paper, and that means, yep. Hi there, Mr. Ninja. Did we ever learn his name? Maybe? Huh. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, I think we just pissed off a ninja. Yep, we have pissed off a ninja. I wonder how many rupees he's worth. Well, whatever. Alright, let's see what else is in this area. Oop, I see fruit. I'm gonna need fruit for other things. Mostly recipes. Yeah, most of the stuff we collect are going to be used in recipes and absolutely nothing. Oh, hi, doggy. Hey, buddy. Aw, you're adorable. Uh, you want a bone? Yeah, you can sell him bones for three rupees for some reason. I'm not sure where he's getting the rupees, but we don't really need to give him any more bones. We just need to give him one. Theoretically, you could just, like, grind out a ton of bones and get a few rupees out of him. Although, at that point, it might just be worth it to turn them into uh, fireworks and sell them that way. Here, you know what? Before we do anything, uh... I was gonna head to the bodyguard saloon right away, but I think I'm gonna wait a second for... Oh, hi. How about Chuckles? 
Yeah, the only problem I have with Chuckles is that he really is pretty passive in terms of bodyguard, his bodyguard duties. Also, found another treasure uh, orb. Well, let's mark that on the map. There we go. How many things do we need on the map for uh, this area? We are 20% done, so there are five things we need to find. Is there anything else in this area we need to mark on the map? Yes, there is. There's a giant question mark over there for some reason. What does it mean? Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Anything up here we can grab? Other than enemies? Ooh, wait, I see fruit. And I see death. This is fine. Uh, Chuckles, get over here. Ooh, an amethyst. I think we can sell that to the uh, jeweler for money. Actually, I know we can sell that to the jeweler for money. No, Chuckles, don't get in combat without me. Uh, if Chuckles ever does go down, I might just switch him out for a new bodyguard. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's just go check out the bodyguard saloon and see what's for sale. I mean, what, what's for sale? I mean, uh, what is it? What bodyguards are available for hire? Also, new thing. What is that? The Great Reef. That reef is anything but great. It's actually kind of tiny. Also, I'm pretty sure that's not a reef. That's just a plant. Tingle's not a very good map maker, it turns out. Alright, so Bodyguard Saloon is, like, right over here. Uh, here we go. Alright, let's see who's available. Hopefully we can get someone good. Ah. Mmm. This selection. Ah, uh, I do need a small bodyguard. Uh, so, do we want Snot Nose Kid or Hyper Kid? They're both about the same in terms of stats, but I think you are passive and you're pretty aggressive. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just go with the passive kid. Also, what does it say about Tingle when a snot-nosed kid that's like seven can fight better than him? Hi, Hi Zuzu. Uh, I remember you being pretty cheap. Maybe I should have gotten the other kid instead. Eh, you know what? I will pay you 40 rupees. There we go. Well, we have a new bodyguard. I'm not sure if it's an upgrade or a downgrade from the clown. Technically, it's a downgrade just because he's still passive and uh, he has less health. But I need a small bodyguard for the next area, so he'll do. Plus, we can always switch him out if we really wanted to. Broken bridge. Oh, bunny! Come here, bunny. You're probably worth something. Uh, you had a carrot on you. Well, it was something. Uh, I can't go that way yet. Is there anything over here I can map? Nope. There's another rabbit over there. I don't think I need any carrots right now, though. Eh, you know what? You can always use carrots. And ingredients in general. There we go. Let's see, that looks kind of intimidating. Maybe there's treasure back there. Unfortunately, we can't go through there yet. What else is around here? Oh, hi there. You okay? Ah. That's not a skeleton creature. I think you just ran into a pole. Well, he wants juice. Unfortunately, we don't have juice. Uh, maybe we should try finding some next time we're in town. Also, new thing with the map. A bone dummy. Alright, I think that's all we can do in this area for now. Let me just double check to make sure we can't map anything down here. Nope. There's a uh, tomato tree. And up here is absolutely nothing. Wait. Yeah, there's not nothing we can do right now. Let's head back to town. Plus, there are a few side quests we can do now. Sorry, Zuzu. We'll come back for you later, kid. He'll be fine. As long as we don't leave the continent or hire a new bodyguard, he'll always be waiting for us. Anyways, before I head back to town, we should be able to do that one side quest I was trying to do earlier with the uh, kid at the Sunshine Seashore. Wow, you walked really far to get here. Actually, wait, no. You're, like, right around the corner, aren't you? 
All right, so let's see what this kid is hiding. Just gotta make sure he doesn't see us. Fortunately, his line of sight is kind of really crap. So as long as we don't like run right up against him, uh, we should be fine. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, I think we're good. Hey kid, remember us? There we go, that's one I wanted. Thank you. So yep, all that for another empty jar, which is fine, jars are good, because now we can hold more items. Uh, I might want to make another tingly before I move on to the next area again. Also, that's weird. Well, whatever, let's go. Back to town. So we need to figure out where we can get some simple juice. Uh, there was like that coffee shop that was closed last time we were there. Maybe they're open again. Also, I think Zuzu's stuck on something. He'll be fine. Also, I still need to sell that map, don't I? Because 479 rupees probably isn't enough for the next major area. Yeah, we're gonna need more rupees. Also, I don't know why Zuzu doesn't follow me into the next area, or into the, uh, town. Oh, whatever. Hey, guard. Whatcha up to? Ooh! An empty j- Ooh! An empty jar. I don't know if I can afford this one. Also, why are you buying your wife empty jars? Ooh, just 300 rupees. Hmm. I'm sure we can haggle you down. How does 250 sound? Please make it sound good. There we go. Yep, always try to haggle. Just don't go too low or you're gonna lose a lot of money in the long run. Well, we have another empty jar. All right, hi coffee shop lady. Oh, right, money. Ah, uh, I don't remember how much money you cost to talk to. I want to say 30? Nope. Alright, I think it might be 40 then. I just lost, lost uh, 30 rupees to this girl. Of course you would. It's because I say I paid you money. Alright, anyways, this is Bella. I think we can sell, like, juice ingredients to her. Ooh, simple juice. Alright. Oh, right, we have to pay for it. Ooh, we're down to 159. Ah. Uh. Huh. I think it's like 150 for the recipe. But that would leave me with just 9 rupees. Oh, wait, we can still sell the map and stuff. You know what? Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna play it safe. And by that, I mean I'm gonna put myself to the brink of death for this. There we go. Yeah, we want the recipe. Three mini oranges. Okay, we have everything we need. Ooh. We are literally down to nine rupees right now. If anything even touches me, I'm gonna die. Uh, I don't think I need to spend any more rupees here. You know what? Let's try to make at least some of that back. Take this amethyst. Oh, hey, that works. All right, we're back into somewhat safe range again. Although now the enemies are going to start hurting from like around 10 rupees per hit. Or 5 to 10 rupees, so... It would probably be better if we had some more. Let's sell that map. Oh, we haven't so Oh yeah, there we go. I thought we showed her all everything already. 240 rupees. That's not horrible. At least we're back over 500 again. And then we can just show her, uh, show her the stuff we found here. I think we're still missing one landmark somewhere. So, Great Reef. Uh, that weird skull thing we found. And then, what was that thing again? Oh, the treasure orb. Right. I think there's one in every area. And we're back over a thousand. So, in the end, we should be okay. Oh, but I think in order to get the next dungeon, we're gonna need to pay a bunch of rupees, too. Eh, we'll be fine. There's another way to get more rupees right now. Plus, we still need to give that guy a simple juice. Oh, wait. If we're going to do that, we need to actually make it. Let's head back to the house real quick. 
Also, I think we have like five empty jars now. All right, can I make it more tingly? How much can I make? Ooh, yeah, we're gonna need more ground shells. I think I might just grind a bunch of those off screen when I get the chance. Because we're gonna be going through a lot of tingly throughout the game. And the more we make early on, the better. Uh, there we go. For some reason, that very last ingredient wouldn't go down. All right, before we fill up, let's also make a one simple juice. We only need one. We don't need to make any more, because I don't think we can actually sell simple juice to anyone. Not even the juicery. Well, coffee shop lady. Also, I like how the juices literally just stick your fruit into a boiling pot and just... That's it. We made juice. Actually, I think we made slightly flavored water. Now, oh, well, he'll still pay for it. And that's what's important. So let's get one of simple juice and then one of uh, tingly. All right, we're good. Back to, uh, tre to what was it called again? Treasure Shore? No. I can't remember all of a sudden. It was Treasure Something. I just had a huge brain fart all of a sudden. Who knows why? Cape Treasure, that's it. I have no idea why I couldn't remember that. Alright, so we have the juice. Let's go give it to that reporter guy. Also, yeah, this isn't even that far away from town. You can walk there in like 10 minutes. Oh well. I don't think I need carrots for anything right now. So we'll just ignore those and save the money. Hey, buddy. Oh, right, we actually have to give him the juice, don't we? Alright, so let's grab that out. And just throw it on his face. I said throw it on his face. There, we, Or, you know, throw it on his feet. That works too. Oh my god, that is a massive tongue. Uh, yeah, let's go with... Actually, no, that is true for once. Ooh, money. Ah. Uh... How much do you pay again? I kind of actually need his payment. I don't want to overshoot it. I think it was like around 800, but I'll play it safe for now. There we go. 750 rupees. Wait, did you say pirates? Huh. Apparently there are pirates in the area. And where there's pirates... There's treasure. Let's go rob the pirates. That sounds like an absolutely horrible idea, but we're Tingle. Who cares about horrible ideas? We are a horrible idea. Let's see. I see rabbits. Ooh, I see cargo. Can we break these open? Uh, no, we can't. We can't touch that, though. I did that on accident, actually. Wait. I see a treasure chest. Let's go open that real quick. Oh, hopefully that's not a trap chest, as in we have to pay money to open it. Because I don't remember the price of this one at all. Alright, what's in you? You are... Oh, it's a dagger. I think we can sell that to the weapon shop for money. Obviously, we can't use it ourselves, because... For some reason, Tingle doesn't use weapons. He just kind of punches things. Or, actually, I, knowing Tingle, he probably just flails around until things are dead. Also, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Wait, did I? Oh, wait, no. This looks promising. Well, promising is a strong word. This looks... interesting. Ah. Well, I think we found the pirates. So yeah, Cape Treasure's kind of home to a giant group of pirates. A giant group of skeleton pirates. Hi there. Don't actually know, I was gonna say don't call me weird, but uh, yeah, I think Tingle would be kind of weird to see just 
standing on your dock like that, with a snot-nosed kid wearing a pot for a hat. Uh, I was hoping to break into your ship and steal all your treasure, if you don't mind. Hmm. You know what? No. Hi there. I'm a friendly tingle. Oh my god, that would be horrifying. I'm not old. I'm 35. Actually, no, that's not even that old. Uh, I have a dagger that I'm pretty sure I stole from you. Oh, I remember him. Well, at least now we can get on the ship. So yeah, as expected from skeletons, they're kind of terrified of dogs. I mean, look at him, he's adorable. Uh, we didn't think this one through, did we? Well, I guess it's time to beat up a bunch of pirates. Uh, yeah, technically that wasn't my dog. I mean, I gave him a bone, so... Ooh, do we want to become a pirate? On the one hand, piracy would take up our time, but on the other hand, pirates do find a lot of treasure, and we're gonna need the money, so you know what? Sure, why not? Oh, well, I'm only 35, so will that be a problem? Oh, well, that was easy. So yeah, we're a pirate now. Turns out Tingle was a pirate the entire time. Yay? Alright then. Well, let's wait till we get to, uh, what was it called again? Their treasure, uh, not treasure cove. Basically, we're getting to their island. Oh? Fine. Let's just check out what the pirates are up to. I mean, I'm not dead yet. I still have 17,000, or 17,000, 1,700 rupees worth of life. I mean, stab me all you want. All I'm going to lose is my money. Which, honestly, is still not just as bad as losing blood. Alright, so yeah, we just need to talk to everyone and see what they're up to. So, are we there yet? I guess not. Who did we not talk to? We talked to you. We talked to you. I'm not a human. I'm a fairy. Actually, no, they never did say we're a fairy yet, have we? Oh, there you are, Zuzu. He probably got to, just got stuck in a corner or something. Are we there yet? Not yet. There we go. Well... We're on the pirate island now. I wonder if there's buried treasure around here. We don't have a shovel yet, though. Pirate hideaway, that's what it's always called. Well, let's head inside. There is a way back. We, I think we can pay you, like, around 10 rupees to head back if we needed to. We don't need to right now, though. I might want to run back to the house to save at some point before we do this. Because, the Pirate Hideaway is the second dungeon of the game. And, yeah, in order to get in, we need to pay. Uh, how much do you charge to get Pirate Hideaway? I want to say... 500? Yeah. There we go. Alright, well, we paid our entrance fee. Let's head inside. But I think we'll do this dungeon next time. So, next time on Let's Play Tingo's Rosie Rupee Land, we're gonna go rob the pirates. 
Okay, we need to become a pirate and then we'll probably rob them. All I know is I need money. Everything else, kind of not that important. So, till then. <laughs>